we made it to Utah and we're just um, walking around a shopping mall right now here in Provo, Utah. But we're gonna go to Salt Lake today. We just wanted to make a stop. You wanna show them what you got, Gabrielle? Got an I Love You Say It Back sweater. If you don't know what that is, um, Indie Blue. She has her own store here in Provo and we had to stop in and see what it was all about. So, um, oh, that's a cute shirt. Do you have a first one? This is yours. I bought that? I think so. I guess I did. Forget what I buy sometimes. But now we're just looking for Jake and I think we're gonna find something to eat. He said he had to go to the bathroom. But we yeah. should definitely have Japanese for dinner. I agree. But yeah, we're gonna um, find Jake and then we're gonna find something to eat and then we're gonna head to Salt Lake and find something to do there. Yeah, this place is so cool. It's a really nice area. I love it here. Is that like peanut butter? What do you think, babe? It is a, uh, I needed this. Yeah. It's like super filling, meat, mm -hmm. some noodles, spicy, it's perfect. All right guys, about to show you how I do my makeup on the road. Oh, that's a setup right there. Yeah, handy dandy mirror, and oh, we're looking rough. So we're about to fix that. We're on our way to the Salt Flats right now. guys we made it to the salt flats and it is gorgeous here but yeah it's just beautiful people come out here and like just do donuts in their car and the water like splashes and I've just never seen anything like it um, the Sun is coming out so it's drying up a little bit but we got here this morning and we were able to get some awesome photos so is beautiful definitely worth the drive it was about an hour and a half away we got here like perfect timing because um, when it rains it makes the salt flats look like glass and so it was just like perfect for some of the photos we were able to get from Salt Lake City but um, yeah it's definitely worth the drive super cool out here this is also the speedway um, where they take you can go as fast as you want out here like there's no limit so this is where they set records out here they set like land speed records out here because there's no speed limit and it's just like a very large area of salt and it's very flat so um, it'd be interesting to see what it looks like without rain but I'm glad we got here when it did rain because it's just gorgeous I think we might try to come back at sunset I don't know to get some cool sunset photos but I think we're gonna call it a day out here right now and head back to the van get some cool shots of the van in the salt flats and then we're gonna find some food because I'm hungry <laughs> but anyways just wanted to show you guys to grab a few things like some water, got some coffee, and now we are headed to Bryce Canyon. It was super nice last night to just like relax. We stopped at Akoa, if I didn't already say that. Um, and I've never been there before, but we really liked it. It was nice, not a lot of people there, and we got to shower, 
and we used their electricity. We had a little fire, we cooked some food, so that was good. And we just relaxed for the night. I feel like we've been go, go, go for a while now. And it was just like so nice to just decompress and yeah. But yeah, now we're gonna get back on the road and we have a five hour drive to Bryce Canyon. We're in a town called Wendover right now. Um, pretty small town. There's like a couple of casinos around here. I think there's a Burger King and there's a Pilot gas station, which is super nice. I love Pilot and like Flying J. They have um, great coffee. I got Organic Sumatra. This is my favorite. This is what I drink at home. And they had it here and I was like, oh. Anyways, yeah, I won't ramble, but we're gonna get on the road and then we probably, I don't know if we're gonna do anything today at Bryce Canyon. We might, we might get some cool sunset pictures. Tomorrow will probably be like hiking and um, sightseeing and stuff like that. Just wanted to touch base with you guys. Um, ugh. Oh, shoot. Good morning, you guys. Um, we actually decided to not go all the way to Bryce Canyon yesterday and we just landed at this little like campground. It's called, it's what's it called? Bear Valley, I think. We're at this place called Bear Valley and it's actually pretty nice. I mean, there's not a lot of RVs here, but um, it's like about a, it's about 45 minutes out from Bryce Canyon. So um, we were pretty pooped yesterday and this looks like a good place to stop. Wasn't a lot of money, so we were just like, what the heck, why not? And we get to shower and like, like do laundry 20 bucks. here. 20 bucks, done deal. Yeah. So yeah, anyways, today we're probably just gonna pick up, clean, do some laundry, maybe take a shower, and then head out for Bryce Canyon. It is cold here. It is like 60, no. It's 46 right now. We got down the 30 last night. Yeah, when we woke up this morning, it was like in the 30s, so. Pretty chilly last night. Probably the coldest we've experienced in the van so far. Um, but we just wear sweatshirts and sweatpants and bundle up and we're fine. So I we got, got some, some good sleep last night. I slept great. <sighs> I didn't. We tried a new way of sleeping on the bed. We tried sleeping. It's because you didn't wear socks. Like vertically instead of horizontally on the bed. And it just like didn't work. No, socks has nothing to do with it because. Your well, then feet what was the issue? Determine... Because my feet were hanging off the bed. It wasn't comfy. <laughs> And this batter is great because all you got to do is add water. It's fine. Is it hard for you to cook in the van or how is it like? It's about the same. I see. What do you think the worst part of it is? <laughs> the cleanup for sure. Yeah. yeah. What's up? This should be an easy cleanup just because bacon's not too messy and pancakes aren't very messy either. But if I'm cooking like beef, chili, tacos, that type of stuff, then it gets annoying to clean. Like that's why it's nice when we stop at like campgrounds like this because I can have like a high pressure hose and I can just like wash it with the soap and water. But this. <laughs> I think this sink. <laughs> the old foot pump. This sink is pretty much only good for like brushing your teeth. Yeah. And also, it's very hot in here. Like, that's why I'm in a sports bra, because <laughs> it's so hot. Okay, so we are leaving the campground now, and I went inside, and they had some really cute jewelry that I was like, I gotta have it. So I'm gonna show you guys. Got this bracelet. And I really love these colors. Super 
super cute. I love this one. Then I got these earrings. They're just like some turquoise feather earrings that would match this. I got these earrings that are like silver. They're not real feathers, but I love the beading on it. So I think I'm gonna wear these today. I got these little you know, RX bars. I'm gonna try it out. I haven't had one of those in like five years. Not the best tasting thing, but it's healthy. Mm. It tastes alright. We get mine. Which one's mine? This one's yours. Alright y'all. We secured the bag. We got the coffee. I got pumpkin spice. What'd you get? I don't know what you got. I got you a maple. Maple. <laughs> All right. So any anybody watching right now, here's some advice for you. Girls, guys, what have you. If you go get coffee, let your significant other order, if they're the coffee fanatic, both flavors they like. In case they don't like theirs, you can trade because I'm not that picky about my coffee. So... It's a little dual redundancy. And it's a win-win because- To save you some complaining and a headache. Because I am a coffee connoisseur, so I will probably pick you something that you will love. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, we got something called a kalache. Yeah, I've never even heard of that. But... This looks amazing. Like, Is look it like at that. inside there on the just meat? Just smell it. Oh, that smells just like the rolls my mom make. Mm. These are fresh. Why would I say it like that? My mom made. All right, just take a bite. And what's this called? A kolache. Kolache. Or a kolache. Some people call it kolache, kolache. But we used to sell them at Dunkin', but they were nothing like that. What's in there? Is that bacon egg cheese? Yeah? Yeah. Wow. Hold on, I just got all bread. So give me a second, folks. I'm excited for you. I'm about to bite into the bacon, egg, and cheese. If you guys have ever had like homemade bread that like you make at home, that's what that tastes like and smells like. All right. First off, this is amazing. Second, mom, I know you're probably watching this. My they mom. Don't compare to your rolls. My mom makes these homemade gluten-free rolls. I haven't even tasted. They're just like this. Best rolls I've had in my entire life. She made them all the time growing up. Still does. They're gluten-free. But mom, check this out. You make your rolls, but you put bacon, egg, and cheese inside of them. Oh my gosh. I don't even know how they do that. Anyways, it is time for us to head to Bryce Canyon. That is so good. So we're gonna head there now. You wanna try it out? Oh baby. we made it to Bryce Canyon and we're currently on a trail right now it took us forever to like we're find to out see, what we're doing we're about to see something real cool right here Let's it show is you guys. so cold <laughs> like I can't it's sunny out today and I can't even imagine how cold it would be oh, yeah. I'm like wearing two coats granted I'm wearing leggings and then hiking <laughs> boots but oh my gosh we were talking about it a second ago and we were like honestly it's just like kind of overwhelming like how beautiful yeah it is i've i've never been here like i don't really i've never really seen anything like this and seeing it all at once like seeing all these all these states and beautiful spots all at once is like pretty overwhelming like i just don't even know how to feel it's like you walk out and out of nowhere it's this beautiful view and it just hits you you're like oh my god like you just have to like take it all in you're like whoa yeah this place exists <laughs> yeah it's this crazy. is 
mountains in Utah, but like they also got canyons. They got everything here. They got plains. Plains, canyons. Look at that. I know. I just like can't. I don't even, we're not even like, this is just, oh my gosh, it's crazy. Okay, so we just went down the Navajo trail. We went down like halfway. But uh, we decided we want to come back tomorrow morning and come to like Sunrise Point and get some cool photos there. Awesome. I just can't get over the view though. It's insane. Anyways, we decided we're going to come back tomorrow and spend another day in Bryce, at least morning. But we're going to call it a night just because the sun's setting and it's getting pretty cold. It's like 40 degrees. And tomorrow's supposed to be like 54, so it's gonna be nicer. And then tonight we're gonna go find somewhere to sleep and build a fire and make some dinners. I'm excited yeah. to eat. I haven't eaten anything like all day. I've had potato salad. Anyways, we'll catch up with you guys whenever we find a campsite. <laughs> That's right. Okay guys, we just got to our campsite and we went to the grocery store um, to get some food. So I picked up some hot dogs and like some chicken Alfredo stuff. I don't know where I was going with this meal idea. I was thinking like, oh, I'll get chicken Alfredo with some chicken, but they didn't have any chicken. And then I was like, oh, hot dogs are the only meat that they had in there that we could eat. But what I'm really excited for, we have chocolate stuffed marshmallows super healthy tonight i know and then i also bought some graham crackers just in case we choose to make s'mores instead i snatched some wine from napa valley they gave us these cute little plastic wine cups you have to put them together but they're cute how cute i'm excited for that i think i'm gonna drink some wine while i cook dinner I don't even know what I'm making, honestly, at this point. I'm just gonna like throw a bunch of stuff together. We haven't eaten all day, so I had some potato salad. I've never seen a wine with that. Lately, I've been feeling like somebody else. Heard you moving on with someone new. We went to the general store and we bought some wood that you see right here, and it was soaking wet and we didn't know it. And then. We get to start the fire around like 7 p.m. And it won't start. And we're burning and burning and burning and it won't start. We're like, what is wrong? So we feel the wood soaking wet. We're like, great. So then we had to go on a, like a manhunt for some more wood. All right, you guys. We just got our dinner. It's like nine o'clock at night. It might be later. I don't even know. But let me tell you, it has been a night. We tried to start a fire. It didn't work because the logs were wet and we didn't know it. We were just sitting here trying to start a fire for like 20 minutes. Then we found some dry wood. So now we finally got a fire started and then we had to boil water, which took forever. And then we had to cook the fettuccine Alfredo, which is right here. It actually turned out pretty good. Oh my. Are we all right? That scared me. What was that smell? Anyways, it's going good. Food's good. We're happy, we're warm, mm -hmm. and we're just chilling. Um, we're gonna have dessert later and we're just enjoying some wine right now. Falling asleep at night, thinking about you and me. Why did you have to be so cruel? I guess I should have known it from the start. But baby, I was 